Leaf says, uh, last week, a question popped up when you talked about SSDs and backups. I have uh, a, a related question regarding backup strategy. Can I now skip bootable backups and concentrate on backing up just user files only in this new world of our split volume APFS? And then uh, regarding SSDs as a backup, shall I have one large SSD, say four terabytes or separate smaller one terabyte ones to back up photos and Maybe not any longer bootable Mac OS. Presently, says I have several hard drives uh, with different frequencies uh, and also accounting for the risk, uh, risk of a, any one of them stopping working. So, yeah, the, the, I, I, you know, I have, as, as with many of us, I have been in the habit of bootable backups for, you know, let's say a decade, but it's probably many of them because that's what you did. However... Um, this new world, certainly Apple is pushing us down a path where bootable backups are becoming more and more difficult to do, uh, do it, but it seems like Apple's priority is not on bootable backups anymore. And it's at least in part because our system, our, our volumes, our, our boot disks are effectively split into two different volumes. There's the system volume, which contains the bootable part of the system. And then there's the user volume, which contains all the stuff that we do to the system and only one of those the latter one is writable so there's very little chance that something could get corrupted on the system volume especially because updates are done with snapshots so you can always roll back of course if the drive itself dies then you don't have a way to boot your mac unless you have a bootable backup so that there, there still is a, a relatively realistic use case for arguing to, to need one, but I, I'm not convinced that we're going to have the ability to make them uh, for very long going into the future. 